feed feed these feed the viewers you're, you're hungry all right let's see here hmm all right let's let's get nvidia out of the way real quick hmm where's my keyboard keyboard oh there you go <laughs> keyboard hello viewers mornings another beautiful day yep hope your five senses work health and strength is good or excellent yeah. on a tuesday morning let's go all right, time to feed you. Time to feed you, Nvidia fans. Mm. Right, let's see here. Uh, Nvidia 560.81 WHQL is out with fixes for high CPU usage and frame farming uh, simulator 22 crashes. Mm. Says here, Nvidia has released a new driver supported graphics card version 560.81 is now available for download with a bunch of important fixes. There are no optimization for new games. But those playing Farming Simulator 2 will be happy to know that 560.81 fixed the bug with the game crashing on system with RTX 30-40 series and driver 560 In addition, the re in, a, in addition, release 560.81 resolve high CPU utilization by NVIDIA containers, game, sh game stutters, 0% uh, GPU utilization, and more. Here's the complete change log. Says there, uh, Fixing fixing game bugs. Farming simulator may crash when loading on GeForce RTX RTX 3040 series with 560.70 driver. Fix general bugs. GeForce uh, experience slash Nvidia app. In close parentheses, if GPU utilization gets stuck at zero percent within performance overlay, game may display stutter. Full range of fresh of uh, full range of refresh rates are not available on the same monitor. NVIDIA container showing high CPU uh, utilization. And then it says, uh, <clears throat> known bugs in version 560.81. The following, GeForce Experience performance monitoring overlay may stop refreshing GPU information. It is also worth uh, noting that owners still supporting still support NVIDIA graphics cards and some very old uh, processors should stay away from NVIDIA recent updates. The company recently stopped supporting chips without certain instructions. So installing a R555 Plus driver on system, uh, uh, say with an Intel Core 2 Duo processor and RTX 70 Ti, will result, will result in the entire system crashing to the blue screen of death. You, you can find more information about that issue here. And then it says, uh, if you have something less ancient than a Core 2 Dual Base computer, you can safely up, update to the NVIDIA 560.81 WHQL driver. You can get it from the official website or the GeForce app. As usual, here is the list of supported NVIDIA graphics cards. And then for Adler Lake, Empery, Turning, Pascal, um, Maxell, that's architecture. It's RTX series is the 40 series, 30 series, 20 series. GTX series is the 16 series, 10 series. GTX 900, GTX uh, 700, 700, and GTX Titan X. And then for the Titan series, the RTX V, XP, and X Pascal. And that is that for the WHQL driver. Now, we got another one, and this is for our NVIDIA apps. Let me get this out of the way. It says your NVIDIA apps get RTX Super Resolution HDR uh, display settings um, uh, support. And it says in February of this year, NVIDIA released a new NVIDIA app, a program that aims to unify NVIDIA control panel, GeForce Experience, and RTX Experience. Today, the app received a new update with support for extra features such as display uh, settings, RTX video control, app sorting, new localization and more. With the latest release the system tab features a dedicated display section where you can adjust the refresh rate, display orientation and resolution. Not every feature from the old NVIDIA control panel is here though NVIDIA say it is still working on the missing uh, features such as G-Sync control, uh, surround, custom resolution, multi-monitor support and more and then it says here the app also let you customize various rtx video improvement and slider for rtx video hdr 
a feature that automatically converts SDR video into HDR. <laughs> uh, supported sliders include peak uh, brightness, middle gray, contrast, and saturation. If you want to learn more about using those sliders, check out the official uh, knowledge base article from NVIDIA. Finally, NVIDIA app now has a bunch of improvements based on customer feedback. Those include app sorting and filtering and additional localization for customers living in non-English speaking countries. Also, statistic overlay can now show FPS 1% low. And then it says the NVIDIA app is the NVIDIA app beta is available on Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC with graphics cards starting from the GTX 800 series uh, graphics cards. It is it also requires the NVIDIA GeForce 551.52 driver or newer. If you have a compatible computer, go to the official website to download the NVIDIA app. Keep in mind that the program is in beta, so it's not fully uh, replaced the other NVIDIA app for Windows. However, NVIDIA want to finish the migration process by the end of the current year. Plus, the company is working on multi-monitor support for RTX HDR. You can learn more about the latest NVIDIA app update here. Yeah, you NVIDIA fans are covered. And then there's one more here from, um, I think this is our video cards. Uh, says this. <laughs> it's pretty short. Says your uh, lossless scaling to receive 4x frame generation update this week. It says uh, frame generation four, frame generation time four times four. Is this type? Is this the type? You no. Know, is this the path frame generation will take in the future, or just a gimmick? No one. You know what? I'll make that in a separate video. <laughs> anyway. Make that in a separate video. Actually, you know, let, let me let me get to it. It's a paragraph. It says, is this the path frame generation will take in the future, or just a gimmick? No one, no one needs. Hmm. It says, uh, lossless scaling is a paid tool that in in you know what? Do that in a separate video. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Though, nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars and Star Trek fan. Dark Side. Go. Peace.